<clears throat> First of all, I want to welcome everybody to the kickoff meeting for Quest. There is actually a new star rising in the Milky Way, which I show here. Um, I couldn't resist showing this picture. I think it's beautiful. So I want to use it as a paraphrase for Quest, which is a new star rising, hopefully, in science in Israel. This picture is actually by somebody from Iran who took it of Saturn rising in the night sky exactly against the Milky Way background. So what you see is Saturn up there, that little dot. This is the Milky Way. The pipe nebula is that pipe-looking nebula under Saturn. The dark river going to Antares and so on. Beautiful picture. It inspired me. I hope it inspires you. Um, <clears throat> actually, Saturn, which looks like just this tiny little star, is much more complex. As you can see from some of the Cassini pictures from a few days ago, um, these are the raw image of Saturn's rings as captured by Cassini in June 2017. Amazing stuff. Hopefully, the center we have established in Barilan now, Quest, is going to do equally amazing things. And I wanted to take about five, ten minutes to tell you why we started it, what it's all about, who is behind it, and so on. So, um, quantum technology can actually be captured pretty much in one word, which is entanglement. But for entanglement to actually translate into technology, you need many, many things. You need something which is called scalability. You need control. You need precision, storage, complexity, dynamics, and so on. And there is no known physical system which has entanglement, which has all of these things together. If you want control, you can have some systems which have really good control or really good precision, but they don't have storage, they don't have long-term storage, and they don't have scalability, and so on. So our idea was, can we establish a center where we bring together people working in very different fields, from atomic physics to quantum optics to theoretical solid-state physics, to superconducting junctions and try to overcome the limitations that each system has by combining systems and perhaps through that establish something which has useful quantum entanglement properties. So um, we are fortunate that the physics department in Barilan has a number of people working in this area, um, including a mathematician, Borg Barzal. But Richard, um, Emmanuel, Lev, Avi, myself, and Michael Stern uh, each bring with us something a little bit different to the center. And here I'm going to go very quickly through um, what each one of us brings to the center. And you actually, the representatives from our groups who are giving talks, so they'll say a little bit more about what we each do through the conference. Um, so Michael Stern um, is new in the department. He joined us about a year and a half ago. Um, and he's studying entanglement and quantum computing, quantum storage uh, through uh, superconducting junctions in, in semi superconducting electrical circuits, which hopefully will be coupled to um, solid state systems like MV centers for storage. Um, he already has an established laboratory, which I'm sure you'll be able to visit uh, during the conference tour of the labs. Um, that's Michael and his group. When it comes to control, um, Lev Kajkovic, who is a member of the department, has been working on atomic and condensed atomic systems, ultra-cold systems, for some time. And I'm sure Lev will also give you a tour of his lab where he has lithium condensates and um, uses them for bo doing both ultra-cold um, few-body system studies and for quantum sensing. Um, 
precision. You already heard the last talk by a member of Avi Pears, one of, well, he actually is now Dr. Uh, Shaked. He finished his PhD from Avi's group uh, in collaboration with my group, where we do ultra, ultra high bandwidth optical detection, quantum optics. Um, we can, this is the squeezed quantum optics that you just saw, so there's no point in discussing it further. For storage, in my group, we are actually working on NV centers, trying to localize them in a specific, well-defined position, whether it's in a cavity or whether it's in a, an antenna, a nanoscale antenna, and also trying to determine what causes the decoherence or, or limits the lifetime of NV centers, um, whether it's surface states or impurities or what it is, what's the cause. And in another effort, we're also working on random number generators, which turn out to be the, the random number generators, which are at very, very high rates, are classical, but every single uh, quantum cryptography system that uh, has ever been conceived actually needs a classical random number generator, a true random number generator to work. And the very, very fast rates we can achieve in making classical random number generators can be very useful and very <coughs> interesting for quantum systems. Um, when we come to complexity, we have Richard, um, who is looking at entanglement of quantum phase transitions, mesoscopic in entanglement, um, um, entanglement measurements, and novel materials, um, uh, quantum materials. Um, and we also have in dynamics and complexity, Emmanuel, who is looking um, at ultra-cold atoms, as in this recent uh, visit of letter. Um, he's looking at quantum optics, light matter interaction, um, as shown here. And again, I'm not going into any details, I'm just flashing these slides up because all these people uh, will have representatives from the group giving a talk and holographic maps of quasi-particle interference. And our hope, this is the group, Emmanuel's group, um, who are attending. Um, and our hope is that by combining all these people into a center, which hopefully will also get funding, we'll be able to um, add value to each of the systems. Um, and I want to conclude by saying we are looking for collaborations, both in Israel and overseas. We are looking for visitors, postdocs and graduate students, industrial partners who want to take some of the quantum ideas that are floating around in the world and use them for quantum measurement or quantum magnetic field sensing or information or cryptography or whatever. Um, and of course, for funding. Um, we want to wish you an enjoyable visit to Israel and to Bar Ilan, and we hope you'll all come back to work with us and to visit us and to enlighten us. Thank you for being here.